online using one move. <laughs> and he does it. He does it well. Man. He does it well. Have I showed you that episode? Because I will. Please if I do. Haven't. Yeah, Please dude, do. I'll link it to you after the set. Holy. All right. Chimichanga John versus Cosmos. He looks like they're tweeting it out themselves. Or I, think, I don't know. He looks like he was playing Pokemon Go for a second, dude. FX, of course, being the Pokestop. Big shout-outs to our venue and primary sponsor and partner here. We love you, FX. Thank you so much for giving us a home. Thanks for giving us our Mecca. This is the Mecca of DFW Smash. Our Mecca? This is our Mecca. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Street Fighter jokes. Yeah, our Mecca. Yeah, our Mecca. <laughs> oh, God. Yo, did you Anyways. Did you tweet this? Let me tweet this. The single move? Uh, yeah, let me, let me do this. Some dude's, are <laughs> some dude's about to get his butt whooped. Maybe. Let's see. He's dressed for success. Yeah, that's true. Ready to send his application into the Akatsuki. Uh, let's see if he's going to be losing a little bit more than an eye here. It's game one between Cosmos and Chimichanga John. Now, Cosmos will only be using that Dragon Lunge throughout this set as his only offensive option. And he really feels like he, that's all that he needs to go and uh, beat this player. Uh, there is some money on the line here. So uh, get ready to see a lot of that side B action. This this is gonna take forever until we can get him off stage. Cause Cor cause Cosmos is very good at abusing a unique trait that Corin has, which is the tipper on side B adds an additional 15%. Now if you actually hit that while they're off stage, I mean the percentage doesn't matter. It's the knockback that you get from it that's actually ridiculous. Imagine if Marth could tipper F smash while airborne. Yeah. It's nuts. So, so we're gonna be seeing uh, several minutes of this. Uh, Nebs, what do you even talk about? Like this, <laughs> it's not gonna be a question of like adaptation or not, right? So, <laughs> keep in mind that when he side bees, when when Cosmos side bees, if he dashes away, he is not safe. Characters can punish it, and if he side bees in, he's also negative as well. But if he manages to get the hit. It'd be pretty cool. So it's going to turn into a lot of uh, a spacing and battle of attrition, for sure. I think it's worth noting that a lot of other Corrin mains really look at Cosmos and how he actually uses the uh, the Dragon Lunge, right? Yeah. He doesn't use it like most folks. Uh, he likes using it uh, oh to gosh. cover a variety of options, oh landing options, the retreating options, pretty much everything. That's one down. Yeah, that's one down. Chimichanga John in a great spot so far. Do these guys have beef with each other? I don't know. Dude, I, I feel like you have to have beef with each other if you're willing to say, like, yo, I can just beat you with one person. That's true. I feel like somebody, was somebody talking mess? Is that how this happened? I feel like that, that's I probably the I case. feel like somebody had to, right? Uh, oh, he could, pin it. he could punish him here. Mm. Do you remember back when Pac-Man, uh, you could do double Pac-Man and doubles? And you would both just side B and then go all, oh sorry, up B all the way up into the infinity. And oh, then like the online? Yeah, and then yeah. the stage would rain down like bombs. Dude, yeah. I did that stuff. That was so much fun. That was goof. That was so good. So normally this is we like We did that, that together, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, dude, we laid him out so hard. <laughs> dude, he got him with the tipper. Yeah, that's it. See, this is nor normally this is like that point in the match where we talk about like all the different options that the players have chosen, what kind of mix-ups they can maybe implement. Dog. Here it's like, is he going to side B? Or is he gonna side B? I don't know. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> this is gonna be so dumb. I guess there is like uh, there is a bit of a mix-up there, right? Like if he's gonna go for the kick afterwards, which direction he's gonna go for the kick? If he's gonna go upwards, which is also negative. Like I think people have this massive misunderstanding about how this move works. But honestly, if people are just really aware of or understand the conditioning for what's going on then they can adapt pretty easily. It's just a question of knowing your character and the speed at which it can act. One thing Cosmos knows is Pac-Man, in my eyes, he, he's a character who's, who's almost trap-oriented, right? He takes a little bit of time to set up all of the different tools that he has. And what Cosmos is hoping to do is just constantly put the pressure up, play very close to face, and prevent any of those traps from actually happening. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can see how well that's paying off. Think about how many times Chimichanga John has gotten more than just a fruit from his item charge, right? He hasn't gotten the key to the city. He hasn't even got the stun belt. Mm. But he has gotten some apples. Oh, yeah. This is, this is some nutritious stuff. Yeah, he's, he's definitely getting the apples a day, but it's not keeping Dr. Cosmos away. No. It's time for that inspection. So 
Ugh. It's okay. He's always making harder callouts now. He feels like he has the percentage and he has the spacing. Oh, there it is. Now, simply shielding does work if you're dealing with that side B. Yeah. I mean, oh. I, I don't think it does all that much shield damage. Uh, it has really good knockback, but the shield damage, I mean, there's he better moves out there. He could have gone down in footstool. I think he had that through his, going through his head for a second. He got him because the invulnerability just ran out, and he got bopped because of it. You can't grab the ledge twice against 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 most people, right? And you definitely can't do that against Cosmos. Especially when you know that he's got that Dragon Lunge. I mean, that is one of the best moves, I believe, to punish that second ledge grab. That's true. The reason being, yet again, that tipper can come into play, and that can be destruction. The angle, man. The angle. It's the, so good just exactly. to punish it. Exactly. That's, that's, that's one of the strongest reasons there. Look at that. See that on this replay? Yes. These guys are seeing it. We got a second cam. That goes off. We have a, a, a stream that goes off in the background, so everybody can, who doesn't get to see it initially, they can check it out. 30 seconds away from then. But let's keep it rocking. We're moving to this next game. Uh, not that much. Uh, so there's not nothing different really to keep in mind for the stage selection. It's going to be more of the same, but let's keep paying in mind the conditioning that's happening now, right? Now we're seeing even more aggression this time from Cosmos, right? Previously, he would kind of pick his spots. Now, he's not even being, being mindful to it because he feels like he can get in closer and keep flustering him just by overwhelming him with hitboxes. That's cool. And you're seeing that he's not constantly going for the kick either, right? He wants to maintain that center stage presence as much as possible. So more often than not, he's opting for jump after the, uh, the Dragon Lunge plants. True. He's also, the, the other thing that he's uh, negating by doing things like this is consistently uh, negating the Fire Hydrant which is also problematic. So imagine a, a sticky situation where uh, Cosmos burns his double jump and is trying to recover, and that fire hydrant then water boxes him off stage. He could potentially be done for, especially if he's in the special fall state. Jimmy Chonka John. Oh man, he had a bit of stage control to work with temporarily. I would have liked to see him, rather than trying to push the advantage so much, maybe retreat a bit, build up that key, just have a little bit extra uh, a tools really to work with rather than just trying to be so aggressive on that ledge. Okay. Cosmos has a percentage uh has a percentage deficit right now, but Ooh. I can't help but he's think about like the long game for Cosmos. Like do you think that this is gonna affect his tournament performance? Like he's gonna go into this next match and just be <laughs> like, alright, I can only do this one move. <laughs> He's probably going to go into the next movie like, all right, I'm warmed up. I got better hit every one of these dragon <laughs> lunges. Oh. Very true. Gosh. Okay. Where are you going? See, and staying true to his word, he managed to pick up the fruit through an air dodge and hasn't let it go since. It's pretty tough for Jimmy. Oh. This is, like I said, this is a battle of attrition. We're, we're still on second stock. And we're approaching the third minute. Wait. Okay, yeah, he's good. He's good. He's good. I thought for a second I was like, he doesn't get side B. He only or he only gets side B. You have to side B the stage and then jump his way back up. But no, he can he can use uh you know the the recovery the recovery options too. It's just you know defensive options all on the table. But on oh. offense, as far as attacks go, you're just gonna be seeing that dragon lunge. Yeah, he's done. He overextended. He was out of shield just long enough to get caught by that side beat. It wasn't a, I don't think it was a tipper, but it was damn close. This is actually happening. Can we can we talk about that? Jimmy finally has his item back, so I think you can start building some of those uh, those items back up now. Man. This is nearly at this at the end, because now we're seeing Cosmos with the extra aggression because he doesn't feel like he has anything to lose. He has the stock lead. He has a percentage. Time is on his side as well. Uh, he has a lot less to be fearful of. I patience on the down smash. I just want to see the hydrant assisted like dragon dragon lunge kick, right? Oh like, with, yeah. Like with the hydrant just pushing, the, just making him go a little quicker. That'd be hilarious. Oh, you saw the air dodge as you jumped up there and just waited. Ooh, that was interesting. He uses the fire hydrant's active hitbox as an approach option. For him to try the mix up right after. There's the. Oh, that's the usually what happens whenever he goes for tipper there. Chimichanga John. Things are looking looking pretty bad, I'll be honest. Things are looking. Oh! oh! 
Oh my god! Snap. That, yo, the it, water box pushed him over to the side and assisted him to potentially murder if, this man. If, if that had happened, I mean, even if he gets it on the second try, it's still going to be the most godlike corn kill anyone's ever gotten. You know that, right, Devs? Oh my gosh. He's got the key to the city, and he gets whopped by the same thing he lost to last game. Refreshing of invulnerability. Homie. Just pick an option, man. <laughs> Why are you? What are you standing up for? Like you know. Yeah. But that was so bad. That was so bad at the end. 